back to my channel thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber thank you for the support but if you're new here if it is your first time here please don't leave this channel without subscribing and when you subscribe remember to click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video and today's video guys i'm going to be sharing with you the most important questions to ask a guy while online dating question number one you should ask a guy online is his marital status you're going to tell me bella but i've read this guy's profile it says he is single i tell you it does not matter ask him again because some men will write on their profiles on the sites that they are single but when you start chatting to them they will tell you that i accept polygamy meaning he was the second wife or <laughs> some guy will just tell you i am separated but still living with their wives you know but the profile says they are single <laughs> and being separated doesn't mean this guy is divorced those are two different things you should really understand what kind of a relationship you're going to put yourself into there is this an example that i want to give you of the girl that i know who was chatting with a guy online for some time but this guy used to disappear during the weekend she told me about it and i told her you know what this guy might be married be careful she told me okay <laughs> i'll be careful about that so they reached at a point where that whereby they wanted to meet and the guy was ready to invite the girl so they started the paperwork and one day this guy called the girl and told her you know what i've gone to the immigration office and they told me they wanted my bank statement i cannot give my bank statement because we share the bank with my ex-wife and i'm still living with my ex-wife we just separated so i am sorry i cannot invite you anymore and i think our relationship is going to be a very complicated one i am sorry it is over you know so that is what happened this is why i am telling you it is better to ask a guy to be sincere to you to tell you his marital status if he is married if he is separated if he is divorced or single <laughs> so that you know what kind of a relationship you are starting and guys before i start question two the man that i'm talking about is the man that seems very serious to you very interested in you and wanting to know you more not those guys that i told you in my last video <laughs> where i talked of how to save time online dating not those ones who doesn't have profile photos not those ones who stay half naked on their profiles not at all i'm talking about of a guy who seems serious who seems decent these are the questions that you need to ask question two <laughs> you should ask this guy where does he live and whom does he live with it will help you know the location of this guy and it will also help you if your relationship goes further if you go to the embassy they will ask you about that particular country you're going to if you know something about it so it is better to know the country the location so that you start researching about it and know it more and about the location some men live in the mountains some men live in the forest some men live near the sea some men live in the city some men live in the country side so it's you to ask the guy so that you see if you like living in the countryside if you like living in the mountains if you like living in the forest forest life then you decide number two why you should ask whom does he live with it's because some men live with their mothers some men live with their friends i've seen a case whereby a girl was chatting with a guy online and the guy invited a girl the girl came and when she arrived she found five guys living with his boyfriend she was very disappointed she was she was saying that i am not free 
I cannot dress as I want with my man. I cannot even kiss my guy, you know. These guys are here looking at me. How will we live? I cannot even cook the food that I want to cook to my man due to these people who are here. <laughs> and she was also blaming the boyfriend that why didn't he tell me that he was living with his friends? But it wasn't the matter of blaming the guy. She should blame herself too. She should have asked the guy before, who do you live with? It's so important. You need to know if you're a girl who wants to live with only your man, then this relationship will not work. Or you'll tell this guy, before we start our relationship, or before I come to visit you, I want you to live alone. I want you to stay alone because I cannot stand living with a lot of people in the house. So ask this, it's so important. Question number three. Now we have been chatting with this guy and everything is going very smoothly. <laughs> ask this guy to show you his house, his home. <laughs> Even if it's one bedroom house, but make sure that he shows you his house. If he accepts, then you know that this guy is pure. He has got nothing to hide. And not only once, you can ask it again, maybe after two or three weeks, so that you see if it is the same location or not. <laughs> this will help you a lot. As you remember, guys, I told you, photos backgrounds tells a lot, but a man's house will tell you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> some men who are liars you know if a person is a liar they tend to forget so he might forget something that will tell you a lot so ask that question number four that you need to ask a guy online I imagine everything is going very well you're so in love with each other this guy loves you so much and you love him so much there is chemistry you connect when you chat when you talk you see this guy has everything all boxes tick 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 now you have been chatting with this guy for quite some time let us take an example of three months it's time to put things into action ask this guy when can you meet where and how these questions are so important guys because this will tell you how serious this guy was some guys stay online just to fantasize guys they just fantasize they will tell you all of the beautiful words that you will want to hear but in real sense they don't mean it they are just fantasizing they just they are just sick in the head guys so ask him when can you meet and how you cannot chat forever <laughs> you need to meet i want to give you two examples one example there was a girl who was chatting with a guy online for six months this was a very big mistake she did never chat with a guy for six months without asking him when can you meet maximum three months guys if he is not ready for you to meet just cancel this guy don't waste your time so this girl was chatting with this guy for six months and they started talking about inviting each other so the guy told her i will invite you <laughs> and the girl was so happy that she was she was going to be invited but in the end when they started the paperwork this guy told her that i'm not going to send you the invitation letter do everything on your own i'm going to pay for a ticket can you imagine this means this old time this guy was just fantasizing because these guys who stay online looking for love let us take an example looking for a girl in africa it means that they know everything they know all of the processes for the visa they know them there was no sense of this guy telling the girl that I'm inviting you, but I'm not going to send you an invitation letter. Then how can this girl meet this guy? Nothing was serious. So she got very disappointed, but it was a mistake to chat with a guy for all that time without talking about how can you meet when and where. Number two example is of a girl who was chatting with a guy. This guy was so romantic, guys. He was too good to be true. This guy could send flowers from Austria, <laughs> where he was living, 
to Africa to this girl and this girl was so happy sometimes sometimes this guy could pay for a spa day for this girl <laughs> she could go for massage <laughs> pedicure manicure <laughs> and this guy could pay he was so romantic it reached at a point whereby they were talking about meeting and this girl told me I told you guys I like advising people so this girl reached out to me to tell me about this guy and she was like oh my god i've got the one this is mr right i told her this is good let us keep on seeing this guy i told her have you asked him when to meet she told me yes we've talked about it but he told me that i should choose two countries one dubai second zanzibar to meet I told her, why Dubai and why Zanzibar? Why can't this guy invite you to his country? Then she told me, no, I asked him and he told me that um, it's because Dubai is very beautiful and he wants to go for safari desert and also Zanzibar is beautiful. I told her, yes, but can't you visit those countries after meeting? Like, let him invite you to his country for I told her, as far as I know, Vienna, Austria is a very beautiful city, a city of love. How can this guy wants to take you to Dubai, to Zanzibar? There is no need. Insist that you want to see Vienna because you've heard Vienna is so beautiful. You would like to see this beautiful city and meet this guy in his country, in his city. Insist, insist, insist. So she told this guy that i want to come to vienna i've heard the the city is so beautiful guys this guy changed completely he was no longer romantic he started to become very aggressive on the phone he told he told her you are so stupid i did not know you are this stupid you cannot tell me what to do you cannot tell me where to go I want to go to Dubai, you choose if it is Dubai or Zanzibar. If not, it's over. <laughs> Can you imagine, guys? What was this guy hiding? What was he hiding in Vienna? Why couldn't he invite the girl to Vienna? Why? It means there was something this guy was hiding. It's so clear because if this guy really really loved this girl he could not even say it's over question number five this is super important guys never ignore this question to ask a guy if he is ready to have children in the future never ignore this because some men don't want to have children in their life never they don't think of that and they don't want it's normal because that is the way he has chosen to live his life so it's better for you to know if you want children and the guy don't want children then it means your relationship will not work so <laughs> this means you will have to end the relationship in the early stage i've seen the case whereby these people are chatting online and they met when they met the girl brought a question of children in the future and the guy told the girl that you know what i have one baby i'm not planning to have another baby in my life never i cannot promise you maybe i'll change my mind after three months or after a year no this is permanent i don't want children i have one it's enough the girl started crying she started saying that why didn't you tell me before that you don't want children but she did not ask <laughs> how could he tell her <laughs> she did not ask this question so the relationship ended guys just because of that it's important ask the guy if he plans to have children in the future or not it's so important guys Question number six that you need to ask a guy online is his hobbies. Don't tell me, Bella, I've seen in his profile the hobbies. No, ask him again. This will help you a lot 
to know what does this guy do on his free time during the weekend or the day when this guy does not work what does he do or if you share the same hobbies or not and some men some men guys have got strange hobbies <laughs> <laughs> and they will tell you because it's their hobbies they will tell you openly but if you don't ask it will hit you as a surprise when you start your relationship and you'll be like oh my god what have i got myself into <laughs> you know <laughs> so it's better to know men on the part of sex life which is very sensitive guys they like a very strange strange games and it's their hobbies when doing sex it's so sensitive i don't want to go deep into that but this is to give you an idea of some strange hobbies so be careful ask about it ask don't ignore it please <laughs> and we're talking of the serious guy Question number seven, don't click off please, it is the last one. <laughs> Ask a guy, what job does he do? This is not to know the financial status of the guy, not at all. This will help you to know if the guy is lying or not, because some men will tell you I'm an engineer, I'm an architecture, I am a pilot, <laughs> I work at the bank, just to keep you chatting with him but in real sense it's not true yes because some men online if i tell this girl the true job that i do maybe she's going to run <laughs> so it's better i lie to her and we don't want men who lie we want to chat to real men men who tell the truth and in love Financial status does not matter at all. That comes last. First, you should find love. Then the financial status. L'ultima. In Italiano, they say l'ultima. The last one. <laughs> so, ask the guy what kind of a job does he do. I want to give you another example. <laughs> but after this example, I want you to tell me if this guy was telling the truth or not. In the comments below <laughs> tell me please so there was this girl who was chatting with a guy and this guy told her that he has been working for 10 years as an engineer but he lives in one bedroom apartment with a friend but his salary is ten thousand dollars per month and when he started chatting with this girl he told her that uh, I want to invite you and when you come uh, next month, I will start planning to look for a more bigger house for us. But what got me so surprised is the salary of this guy, but he is living with a friend in one bedroom apartment. Really? I don't know. But... To end this story, they continued chatting with this girl and I told this girl, ask this, ask this, ask this question, ask this. In the end, <laughs> you know what happened to Mr. Engineer? He disappeared. He started bringing stories, blah, 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 you know, hey, there is this situation has happened, this, that. Then he disappeared. <laughs> Mr. Engineer. <laughs> so tell me in the comments below if Mr. Engineer was telling the truth or not. But guys, please ask these men you meet online what kind of a job do they do and tell them to be open. Tell them to be sincere and tell the truth. <laughs> My advice to you who is online looking for love you will find love because among all those men who are sick who fantasize who lie exist good men exist men who are truly looking for true love but you should also keep it in mind that online dating is not all that safe 
so you should be very careful exist sick people who like to see people suffer and don't allow people to waste your time online if you see something that is not adding up to your sense please delete this person leave him don't allow him to torture you because some people are sick like i said they stay behind the camera they chat with you and they like to see you suffer they like to see you crying for them and tell themselves that this is so stupid how could she believe that i loved her you know <laughs> how could she believe i even existed you need to be very careful extra extra careful don't allow people to waste your time don't allow people to use you <laughs> like i said in that video of don't allow people waste your time save your time online and don't take it very serious if a guy disappoints you online don't take it to the heart not at all it is just online dating you know <laughs> you're just having fun if you find true love then that's okay if you don't find again that's okay maybe you'll find a guy out from the site not in the site so don't take it very serious don't keep it at heart i've seen a case whereby a guy this time was a guy who killed himself because he was planning to meet a girl and all the time this girl was just disappointing him they planned the girl to go for the birthday of the guy she did not go they planned for the, the girl to go for christmas nothing she did not appear in the end the guy took his life but do you know what was the shocking news in the end this girl never existed it was just another person who was on the computer just typing just chatting with this guy trying to make him crazy and he was enjoying doing this to this guy so don't take it serious for me i said if i was this guy first time we plan to meet and you do not come then i give you the second chance you do not come then i cancel you i delete you i don't give you another chance and i don't give you even the time to take my life not at all <laughs> that person does not deserve that love the person who loves you love the person who cares about you if a person can do that to you it means he does not care why should you cry why should you suffer for that so use your common sense while you are online dating thank, thank you so much guys for watching this video till now if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video especially those who are online dating share with them they are going to enjoy and they're going to learn a lot <laughs> subscribe to my channel Comment below what you think. I love you so much. I will never get tired of telling you how much I love you. I love you guys. Let us meet in my next video. You are always here.